So what is optimization? Well, optimization is simply finding the best solution among other alternatives by minimizing or maximizing a specific value. Ultimately, we're trying to find the global minima or global maxima, which is the lowest uh, point in our solution, uh, on our possible solutions, as you can see in behind me, the red point. However, in many times, we don't uh, find the global minima. We find um, local minima, which is uh, a point that is low, but not the lowest. So as you can see also, in the graph behind me. So there are many methods uh, to perform optimization. In this lecture, we're going to separate them into four different methods or categories in which the first two is, a dire is, is, is going to search through a wide uh, uh, value uh, area and pretty much doesn't require us to uh, code our problem into uh, the actual solution, uh, into the actual uh, optimization um, solution procedure or, or, or method itself. The last two, they are uh, the heuristic method and meta heuristic method, are concerned by finding the solution that uh, that is with within our a little bit limited uh, solution. Um, uh, search. So the first two are very big area search, and the lower two are made for a specific problem and made uh, uh, to solve a little bit limited uh, problems that we also that we always have to change our code in order to um, perform such optimizations. In most uh, data science uh, and uh, and uh, machine learning uh, machine learning departments are they they usually use meta heuristic methods, and of course it depends based on the problem these methods will be used. So the first method is a direct uh, search, and in direct search we search through our uh, possible uh, or, or uh, possible solutions by having uh, similar to a cursor and uh, finding uh, uh, finding the values in the top of this uh, search cursor. We uh, find these values and compare them and move the cursor towards the uh, the, the the location or the value or the direction of the lower values. If these, we keep doing this, and if these uh, cursor uh, points didn't have a much deviations, uh, uh, variations in their value, we shrink the cursor. And after that, what we do is, we'll do again. We go, we, we use the cursor, uh, uh, points to direct this cursor towards the uh, location that has the lowest or the highest value, depending on what we want to do. And uh, of course, we uh, if we if these values have the same um, uh, like comparable values, we shrink it again and so on, as you can see in the above graph. Now, as you can see here, this is a very much a procedure. It doesn't have a randomized component in it. The indirect search uh, method or category, they have a methods that do more or less uh, also the same, like it's, it scans a wide area. However, it has a, a little bit randomized uh, a component um, uh, o, o of it. Uh, one of the, these methods, I, I call it actually my, myself, so I have a little bit experience with it, is a covariance matrix uh, adaptation evolution strategy method and this is a fancy name for simply we have an evolution that we have a set of points that we're going to be uh, initiated throughout our uh, solution domain and then the next generation will look into a smaller area and the next generation it keep evolving into a smaller area so you have always a parents and offspring and 
we we keep doing this until we can, we we find the uh, uh, local um, uh, the local or global minima and in, in this method we also have the word covariance matrix and what is covariance matrix is basically it's a matrix that describes the uh, the the shape of this uh, searching um, area the next searching area so uh, in which these uh, these uh, points going to be distributed are so this is basically the uh, indirect search uh, method procedure now we're trying to find a solution uh, for a specific problem that requires us um, a little bit more specialized um, um, methods. Now these methods they search into uh, they are they are much faster than the first two methods, but requires us to uh, um, change the code in order to suit the problem we are uh, optimi uh, we are optimizing. The first um, method is a, a greedy algorithm, and this uh, method, um, or or uh, it's tried to find uh, always the uh, the greedy uh, solution. Uh, that is, for example, if we are a, a salesman who starts from point A and wants to go to all points possible, we uh, we can uh, use uh, this uh, uh, let's say greedy solution to give us some um, some solution, not not necessarily the best solution, which is the heuristics uh, method is all about finding just some solution that we start from point A here and then we go greedy. We choose the uh, point with the minimum uh, cost, which in this case four. And once we go to B, we also choose the point with the least cost. So we go again for D. And then we also choose the point with the least cost, and then we go C, and then uh, we go A again. In this solution, in this uh, problem, of course, it's a very uh, trivial uh, solution, uh, uh, trivial or uh, very simple problem. However, if we have uh, many different uh, points and uh, many uh, different factors, um, well, this method might not work. So, um, so, so, so for that we have to uh, consider um, uh, uh, not just greedy, but also we try to have a component of randomized uh, uh, feature in, in in this method, and this is where the meta heuristic methods. Uh, uh, this is why we have meta heuristic method, which is. A kind of greedy, but also try always to find, uh, always exploring the uh, solution. Um, the, we, we try to explore the solution domain, and in this method, sometimes we go, we be uh, a greedy, and sometimes we become um, random. We simply random. In this method, uh, we will code it by ourselves. Um, w in which we will code the uh, greedy randomized adaptive uh, search uh, procedure uh, in which, for example, if you start from point A um, and you start greedy, you will go for B and now, in this method, you always uh, sometimes we cho you choose between greedy and sometimes we choose between um, uh, 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 like um, random so let's say we, we just throw the dice and we get the C and then after that we go again greedy, then we will go to D, and then we can go uh, again greedy or of course uh, random, but in this case of course D is always, we already finished the, the cycle, so we go A. So the idea is sometimes we choose a greedy solution and sometimes we choose a random solution. This is our, the basic of the meta heuristic methods. And in next lecture, we're going to uh, get to know more about how the greedy randomized adaptive uh, search procedure works and uh, hopefully later we also need to code it by ourselves.